Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are out and about uh, trying to get some nails back. Um, I had uh, a really nasty attack. It was a double attack. In other words, two separate hunter groups attacking me at the same time. Um, and they really screwed up the base, and I ended up using up all the rest of my nails uh, to fix uh, or repair the damage. Uh, we've also hit one or two... Locked crates, I think, and so here's the footage from all of that. So yeah, we are um, out now. It is now February. Um, this is our first day of February, and so we're out looking for more nails and a locked crate and the usual stuff. And as you can see, we are <clears throat> at the arch right at the moment. So where's that coming from? Right there, level two white wolf. Um, we should be able to take him out in one shotgun shot. Okay, uh, the normal pump shotgun unupgraded is supposed to do 120 damage, and that's exactly the amount of health that this wolf had. Um, we probably better wash our hands because I killed the wolf before I started the camera, and that's been a little while ago. And, ooh, you know what? We're kind of low on food, aren't we? Okay, let's eat this right now. And uh, we're not going to be able to get too terribly far away from the base. But yeah, that attack was gnarly, man. Um, I, I probably have had multiple groups attack me in the past before, but it doesn't happen very often. Uh, we could take this chicken back and replace him with our current level three chicken. So yeah, um, I've just been doing the usual, you know, getting through winter. Winter here, we have one more month of winter, but towards the end of February, the lakes should thaw and then uh, you know that's going to help us control the hunters a little bit better and uh, you know make in once I guess once March hits then you know we start seeing more loot so it's been pretty scarce you know things have just been uh, kind of threadbare for me uh, throughout the whole winter but not not to the point where you know we're not surviving or anything like that we've been getting by but we certainly haven't had any kind of an abundance at all uh, so nails are the thing right now that we're really looking for in addition to a locked crate okay good so we now have 19 nails those are all the nails that I have to my name right there in my inventory and uh, we kind of got low on ammo too after that last fight I have a a decent amount of shotgun shells I think I have a few more back at the base, but just about everything else, well, and nine mil shells. Uh, there's our locked crate right there. Uh, just about everything else has been really scarce. 
Okay, let's see what we have in here. Um, ammunition would be nice. Okay, so we got... Look at that. Okay, very good, very good. Yep. And three cotton seed too. Nice. That was a pretty good crate. I'm not going to complain about that. So let's get this fully loaded back up. And did we get it in magnum rounds too? I think we did. Yep. Very cool. Okay, so now our weapons are uh, completely full and we have a little bit of ammo left over, uh, which is great. Let's actually fill this up. So, you know, let's see. We got some plates too, which is great. Do, 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 do. Let's head on back now since we found the locked crate. Um, if this chicken is still alive by the time we get back to the base, I'm going to swap him out with our current chicken and then butcher the current chicken and we'll get the... Uh, Another piece of the reared meat and a premium feather and all that other good stuff. Oh, by the way, I do have two eggs now, finally. And so we can make some steak and eggs, which we need to do when we get back because we're kind of hungry. So let's head back to the base right now. <coughs> I have been killing, you know, the hunters, obviously, you know, when they've come in. So the attacks are happening a little more frequently now because now they're revenge attacking us. Kind of crap, though, really, if you think about it. They attack us, we defend, and then they get revenge when they're the ones that start it in the first place. What the hell, man? What the heck? All right, let's hit him with that. Soften him up a little bit. Oh! We fired below ourselves. Not good. Not good. Okay, let's butcher this guy. And keep working our way back towards the base. I'm going to hit this grub tree. We also have another wolf up here. What level is that guy? That's a level three wolf. Eleven fat. Nice. That's going to go... Quite a ways towards biofuel for us. Got a chicken here. Ah, it saw us right when I released the arrow. But we get our bow back. That's good. All right, where'd that little bugger go? We ran off down this way. Oh, looks like we got a moose out on the lake there. We should uh, consider taking him down, especially if he's a level one. Good. We got another live chicken in case the other one doesn't survive. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty much ready for winter to be over. Not gonna lie, it's uh it's been kind of a sucky winter. All right, let's uh see if we can figure out what level we're dealing with here. Level one. Perfect. Okay. All right, now he's angry. He's angry! Oh. Crap, he broke our leg. It's a good thing we're close to home, huh? Uh, all right, we need to make one of these. I probably should have tried to shoot him one more time with the rifle before we got the shotgun out, but oh well. Okay, let's get... Nope, nope, nope. Get that out. And... Okay, we might have to do some inventory management here. In fact, we definitely are going to have to. So we can take those, those, and those. Um, so we have three items here we got to make room for. Three very important items. So let's make... a twine from that. Uh, let's eat the onion and the blueberries. There, now we should be able to get everything. Okay, let's hobble back to the base here with our broken leg. Uh, but can I actually make the splint now? What do we need for that? Yeah, we actually should be able to make that. So we can make a bandage there. And then um, 
Uh, and we need to make sticks. Do I have... Yeah, I've got some wood. So let's get that going. We're still going to hobble back to the base, though, because we might as well. Hopefully we don't get an attack while whilst we're ho hobbling here. There's a chicken over here, too. Let's go after him. A chicken and a rabbit. It's a slow going, man. Oh, yeah, little bugger, he stopped, right? I was trying to lead the shot, and he stopped. Hey, got another live chicken. Good news is that we didn't lose our arrow. You know, it occurred to me that as soon as we make this stick, we're going to... It's going to fall on the ground. So here, let's throw those out for a minute. Now let's make this. And... Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to throw this stick out. Um, oh, it, temporarily. Okay, now we can pick it up. All right, we're back to back to normal here. Whatever normal is. It includes not having a broken leg. We'll put it that way. Okay, hands are washed. Um, let's put the good meat in here. And we're going to swap out a chicken. So he's a level three, and we'll put this chicken in there. Okay, let's put some stuff away here. So we're up to 26 nails. That's not a lot, but that's 26 more than I had when we set out. So, yeah, uh, we got to really build those back up as quickly as possible. We're, we're doing really good on wood. I mean, I've got 143 planks and another 91 wood on top of that. All right, let's uh, butcher the chickens here. This one should give us, yeah, some reared meat. Awesome. We're going to save that for chicken soup. We'll put all that fat in there. This can go in there. And then let's cook up that chicken meat. We'll throw that in there. Three more cotton seeds is great. Uh, so let's put that in there. So we have a total of four cotton seeds now. We'll take it. More iron. Copper fragments. And yeah, we're back. We're actually back into a spot where we have some ammo now. Which is Cool. And I still have four more shotgun shells even in there, too. Okay, how's this doing on fuel? Not too bad. It's about halfway down, so we'll let that continue on uh, for now. Let's put this stick in here. Um, These crops are getting close. These crops are getting close. Looks like I have a couple of onions that are actually ready. Let's put that water in there. We are going to need to uh, feed our chicken and water our chicken. So let's throw some water in there. Uh, it's got 45 food, that's not too bad. Uh, but I probably will do more water. Get this copper node. Go away, eagle. You're a pain in the butt. Okay, we'll put that there. Oh, I didn't fill up the canteens. Okay, so let's make sure this is fully loaded. All right. Now, um, I need to make 
some let's make four bandages or two bandages rather so we have always want to have those on our our toolbar and we have seven arrows I don't feel like I can afford to make any more arrows right at the moment because of our nail shortage um, but can we make another one of these yes we can so let's grab the ingredients for that we'll make another lock pick these down here put those in there and what time is it the Sun is there it's like I'd say around mid-afternoon it seems like come on give me nails seven nails good 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 so yeah looks like um, we could probably take another run up to the arch uh, as long as the weather doesn't get any worse than it currently is. And see if we can nab ourselves another locked crate before the end of the day, I guess. If it starts to blizzard, though, then we're, we're going to have to come on back. I do have, I still have the heat packs with me, so, you know, we can withstand that to a point. Oh. Let's make our, our first uh, steak and egg. So it takes one piece of steak and two eggs and cook it up right on. Okay, we'll grab our lock pick out of here. Um, we ourselves need to drink and we need some carb action too. Um, let's eat some blueberries and one tomato. And that should get us pretty close. No, maybe two tomatoes. And then the steak and eggs will uh, will shoot us up pretty good. Okay, let's refill these again. Yeah, this is going to make a lot of uh, fat for us, which is cool. All right, let's put this fertilizer in here. Because um, I want to get those new cotton seeds planted ASAP. So these will be done. Oh. No, we still have a couple. The potatoes, the onions are done, but the potatoes are still going. All right, well, let's let's just let it continue on for the moment. Any visitors coming? Nope, oh, looks like we're good. That's almost finished. Steak and eggs, ladies and gentlemen. Delicious. Om nom nom. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, let's look at the sun now. Eh, I don't know. Probably, it's probably a little too late now, I think, for us to run out to the, to the arch. So, what I think I'll do is I think I'm going to cut the camera here and just kind of hang around the base at night, cut some wood, do the usual, and then in the morning... I'll bring you guys back, and then we'll go look for another locked crate. But let's eat our, our steak and eggs. Ready? Here we go. Mmm. Good stuff. We even got a stamina increase. All right. Very cool. All right. I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, we got company. All right. Oh, that was terrible. All right. Hold still. Nice. Got a really good headshot off on that dude. Okay. Any more? Nope, I think that's it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, we were able to kill him fairly quickly, so they, you know, didn't do a, a ton of damage to our base. And we got two rifle shells from that guy, among other things. Let's see what this guy dropped. And they only sent two of them, too, which is good. Some pistol rounds, some zinc, and some other stuff. Okay. Nothing to write home to mother about, but it's good stuff. All right, guys. It is morning, and I just uh, finished harvesting the, the trees again before I started the camera. Uh, we need to give our chicken a little bit of attention here, so... Let's throw those blueberries in there, and we're going to need to get some water in there, too. 
And then as soon as we're done with that, we'll set out and go do some looting. So let's grab all of that water. All of that stuff in there. This can go in here. Uh, you're working on potassium, right? Yeah, okay. That can go there, that can go there, that can go there. Um, so yeah, we I harvested the crops last night. Looks like these onions are ready. Are the potatoes done? No, not quite. Potatoes seem to take longer to grow than everything else in this game. Uh, so I planted four more cotton seeds, two more tomato seeds in there, and you've got carrots and potatoes and stuff like that in there. Okay, so let's put this in here, and it don't, doesn't look like I have any more seeds left, so we're just going to um, plant two more tomato seeds in here. And we're going to unwater and fertilizer in there, and we're going to unwater and fertilizer in there. Okay, I'm going to grab, um, let's see, we got quite a few onions now. I want to make some liver and onions. But let's, um, does that take one or two onions? It takes two. Okay. So that'll be enough to make 12, 11, that'll be 10 liver and onions right there. And we'll take one tomato out here as, as well. Okay. So let's give them all the onions and the tomato. And then... Is that enough water? Yeah, we'll give him one more water. Why not? Put these back in here. Okay. So, let's top off our Ginny. And where are we at with stuff? We're almost back to uh, the, the max on our free mass. Um, and then, let's see. Yeah, we, we still need nails like crazy. Uh, oh, I know what I was going to do. I think we can make our, our heavy-duty shirt now because I have this nine cotton. Uh, but we need to be able to make three more padded cloth. So to do that, we need feathers in normal cloth. And hopefully I've got enough to make three more of these. One, two, three. Just enough. Cool. Um, so now we're going to be able to make this. We're also going to need 15 of these guys. And what else did it say we needed for that? Oh, a rope. Okay, so yeah, let's grab this and this. And we'll make one rope. And that should uh, give us what we need to make this happen. And then we're going to... We'll, we'll be f have... Uh, the top armor in the game. So it's, you know, winter starting to wind down. We will definitely make the winter coat for next winter, but I, I mean, it's almost really too late for me to worry about making it now. So I think I just want to get all the armor pieces made up first, and then we can, you know, by the time next winter rolls around, we should have plenty of cotton to, to make our winter coat. Um, this stuff could stand to use a little bit of repairing too, but, uh, all right. So here we go. Very nice. Heavy duty t-shirt, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's going to give us just a smidge more warmth, but quite a bit more protection. Um, well, two more points of protection. So there we go. All right, so now we have a damage protection of plus 28%, uh, cold tolerance of minus 5.5%, and heat tolerance of 26.5 um, degrees Celsius. Very cool. Okay, so the next thing that will be, you know, we need cotton, we need two or three padded cloths to upgrade our little farm there to free range. So that's probably the next thing we'll be gunning for as far as the cotton itself goes. All right. Do we need to give this guy some more water or not? I can't remember. Nope. It's good to go on the water. Let's grab this scrap metal. And it looks like there's a copper node right by the base. Uh, wait, didn't I just see a copper node here? Yeah, right there. Let's grab that. 
Then we'll set out. I'll put that in there. Okay, so what does it take to repair this? Oh, more cotton. Okay. What about this? Yeah, that needs cotton and s sinew. That needs cotton. What do these need? Just regular cloth. Okay. Well, you know, they're not all the way down yet, and we, we definitely don't have the cotton <clears throat> at the moment to repair those anyway. So we'll just uh, do the best we can. Do the best we can with what we got to work with. Uh, let's redo these again. We'll take this water with us. Okay, uh, we've got the lock pick. We got um, the ammo that we need. So I think we're ready to set out, except for we do need to eat a little bit more. So let's eat a liver. That gets our protein pretty darn all the way to the top there. And if we eat one tomato and maybe, say, a carrot. Oh, no, we don't need to. We're good. Okay. Let's check one last time, make sure no one's coming, and we're we're heading out. So, um, nails are the name of the game, guys. That's what we got to get is nails. Um, and locked crates, of course, and everything else. But we're really gunning for nails right now. Got plenty of wood for our next building session, but we do not have plenty of nails. So we'll head back up to the arch as usual in that area. There is a little ore something or other up here. Hopefully that's iron. Yeah, I think, well, I don't know. It's, it's really hard to tell sometimes. That's probably potassium. Yes, it is. Well, we need that too. I know I say that all the time, don't I? When we get potassium. There's a bunny. I think we're going to leave the bunny alone for now. As usual, we'll hunt on the way back. So crates are what we're really after right now. What level is this wolf? He's a level one. Ah, let's kill him. Easy kill. Okay. Got an ammo crate here, which can have nails in it. Case in point. I think you can find nails on all, th all three of the. Well, you can find nails on all three of the crate types of crates, and in the locked crate too, for that matter. see anything down there crate wise another wolf here what level is he level one since our hands are already messy might as well grab a few more of those let's hit the grub tree And we have an ore down here. Oh, and a white wolf. Level three white wolf. Three pieces of fat. Iron. We'll take it. Don't be doing that. Make me dizzy. Okay. Here's a crate down here. And 
a scrap metal, two scrap metals. Come on, nails. Nice. Okay, we got a bunny and another crate over across the way there. We don't really want to go too far that way, though. We probably better think about washing our hands here pretty quickly. If we could kill one more wolf first, though, that'd be good. Crate up here. Looks like it's a building crate. Just the kind we need. Six more nails. Good. Alright, we have a white wolf there. Get this down here. Okay, now we're going to wash our hands. Hands are washed. Now we have more wolves to kill. All right, let's uh, let's avoid those for now and just keep creating. That might be a locked crate right in front of us. Ooh, nice little collection of nails there. It sure is. All right. Okay, let's see what we get. Five shotgun. Oh, wow. Look at all the rifle ammo, you guys. Fantastic. Yeah, eight rifle ammo. That was a good crate. And five shotgun shells. Very nice. Okay. That was worth the price of admission. Well, let's keep looking for just normal crates. There's one uh, right over there. And see if we can get some more nails. And um, that looks like an iron up there. Can I grab this from down here? Yeah, I should be able to. Hop up here and then hop up here. Let's look around for a second while we're, we have this high vantage point. I'm not seeing any more crates. So let's see, where's the sun? Oh yeah, we got lots of time. Lots of time in game. Day Daytime in game. There's a deer up that way. Seen a whole lot more crates at the moment, though. There's a bunny. And we missed. Of course we did. Of course we did. Here's a wolf up here. And the bunny again. That's a level two wolf. All right. 
Axe, axe. Give me the axe. Where are you, rabbit? There you are. There you are. All right, let's run up through here. There's another bunny. Getting that cloth, baby. How many arrows do I have? Oh, that, uh, that was my last arrow. We have 27 nails. I don't have any feathers on me, though, so... Um... Yeah, okay. That's a level 3 wolf. Let's just shotgun him. We can kill him in one shotgun blast. And then there's another wolf right up there, too. Might as well get him. Get our money's worth. He's level two. Okay, we still have two shotgun shells left, and I think I may have a couple more shotgun shells at the base, too. Well, we need to max out the load on this guy. Okay. Here, let's refill that. If you put snow in a canteen in your inventory, it will eventually melt into dirty water, which then we could use to wash our hands or whatever. Um, thinking about maybe... Let's just eat all that. Maybe going after a mountain lion. We already have sinew. So we should have enough room. Let's just kind of run up that way real quick. I can't use a gun on the small game because it destroys the carcass. I don't know. I think cold game should let us use a 9 mil to kill chickens, though. The Magnum, I understand, but the 9 mil should be able to kill chickens and rabbits with a 9 mil. Oh, it's a little chilly up here. Okay. Oh, uh, there's a level 105 something, which is probably a level 3 wolf. Oh, there's a cougar that hangs out up here. Yep, there he is right there. Hopefully he's a level 1. And there's a doggone wolf there, too. That's a level one wolf. So we can't stay up here for too long because it's really cold. Let's come around this way. Level two cougar. Um, of course he stops where I can't get at his head. Really? Oh, come on. How in the hell did that miss? All right, you know what? Let's let's not do that. Too risky. Well, with us losing health and everything, so I don't think I I can kill it with, without getting tagged at least once, and I don't really want that to happen at this point in time. There is another one that spawns not too terribly far over this way, down a little bit lower, but we are 
Still losing some health here. It's minus seven up here. I guess we could take the heat pack. There's a level one white wolf. Nah, you know what? Let's we'll we'll come back for the cougar in the springtime. We probably could have pulled it off, but then again, maybe we wouldn't have, and then that would not have been good. Not even close to have been being good. I think we probably unlocked some more fog of war though from being over here, which is cool. Alright. Alrighty. There's a pig over there and a wolf somewhere that I don't see. He's chasing us. White wolf. Now he's tracking us, but he's not chasing us. Um. Okay, he's... He buggered off. Let's get this ore up here. That's potassium. These are my old stomping grounds from season one. Oh, here's a crate. Two crates. Okay. Very nice. Okay, well, we better start thinking about heading home. Um, yeah, the sun is... Uh, Definitely we're into mid to late afternoon by now. But uh, not a bad not a bad loot day or loot afternoon. Loot day, whatever it was. Where the heck's our base at? Oh, there's more ore here. That's zinc, I think. Zinc I think. Uh oh. Okay. So let's see. What do we want to do? Uh, let's butcher these rabbits. Okay. And that makes room for the zinc. And one more spot uh, after that. Okay. Where is our base exactly? Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's head on home. Sorry, chicken. I can't kill you. I know that disappoints you and everything, but uh, no arrows. Man, look at the ore up here. Got a zinc here. Got a an iron here, I think. Yep. And another zinc. Okay. Here's the south pond. Are there any hunters? fishing. Well, I don't know. The hunters, I guess the hunters don't fish in the winter, do they? I've never noticed a hunter ice fish in the winter. Uh, let's go punch a hole in the ice and wash our hands. Unless, yeah, that's still frosty. Um, and we're probably, after this, going to have to make a new axe. And we'll throw this one in the mass recycler.
Okay. I'm gonna stay kind of more to the. Uh, oh shit. To the east. There's a crate there that I'd really like to get. So let's actually pull the wolf back this way. Scrap metal. Okay, so yeah, Charlie is kind of almost directly in our line of sight uh, for our base. So let's kind of work our way through this way. Because we don't want to run into him. No siree. There's an ammo crate. Okay. So, ammo casings and biofuel. Let's eat this, because we like raw onions. They are delicious. Ugh. Um, and I guess, yeah, let's eat the, the grub, because we like grubs, too. Very tasty. All right, there's a zinc... Up there. Uh, I think I'm going to leave that sink there. Let's just go. Let's just keep on keeping on here. If it was iron, I'd go for it. But we've got lots of zinc. Okay, a couple crates over here. Come on, nails. Those are not nails. Got a crate up on this rock. Let's see what... Uh, it's a... Oh, good. It's a building crate. And I think that's an iron node, too. There we go. We got some nails out of that deal. And let's get some more iron, too. Okay, we are back to the base. Um, looks like we let the fire go out. Uh, so let's put the the good meat in there. Um, we're going to need. I think we're going to need to make a fire starter. So we probably better put that in there for the moment too. How are we doing on power and mass and stuff? Okay, that's looking good. We'll put the fat in there. And um, we have, what do we need for the fire starter? Oh, two sticks. Okay. So we'll make some sticks. And then we'll make the fire starter because I don't have any matches. To get our fire going again. And let's also put a fuel brick in there to completely fill that up. Uh, so we're now at 67 nails. That's a little better than what we started with. It's still not a lot, though. Uh, but like I said, it's a, it's an improvement. Let's um, work on some more iron for this. And yeah, we have enough iron to make another lock pick. Always a good thing. Put all this ore in here. Okay, fire starter can go here. There we go. Let's get that water in there. We're not, not in a hurry to cook the meat because it's in the fridge, so uh, we're in pretty good shape. So we have 48 rosehip berries, which is great. We'll be able to make jam from that once we get the pot going, uh, which is one of the next things on the list to, to do. That goes there. Those go there. And that goes there. All right. Let's take a peek out the window and see if any company's coming over. Uninvited guests. Are these potatoes finally done? Doggone it, they're taking forever. Man, oh man. 
All right, you guys. Well, I think that is it for this episode. Uh, we had a good loot run. Uh, very happy with how that all turned out. <coughs> and so I'm going to just finish doing some stuff around the base uh, overnight here. Um, make ourselves a new axe, and I'll throw that one in the mass recycler. And then tomorrow we'll figure out what our next move is. I might take another day or two uh, just to do some more off-camera resource gathering and stuff. But we'll see how things go. Uh, but anyway, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.